Hello, everyone. Today, we'd like to present the group project that is dedicated to female stereotypes in Disney fairy tale movies of the over the decades. The goal is this research is to study the changes in stereotypical depiction of female characters in Disney animation movies from the 1930s till 2020s. And how exactly has the, has the representation of female images changed in the new 21st century, the century of equity, inclusion, and diversity? Snow White is the main character in Disney first animated feature films. She sported the sign of beauty and innocence, kind, gentle, sweet, and cheerful, the qualities expected from a girl in nine in 1930s. She is also portrayed as a symbol of girl, most of whose fate was decided by others, including the marriage. In 1940s, 60s, and 70s, Walt Disney focuses more on feature films with animals, birds, and other things. Girls and women were not portrayed in major roles in those films. In 1950s, Disney produced three feature films with wonderful princesses, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, and Sleeping Beauty. Cinderella embodies an idealized femininity, good, passive, humble, and she needs a man to save her, unfortunately. At the same time, she has strong will and strong faith. Alice is characterized as loving, gentle, curious, and skeptical of authority. She may not represent conventional stereotypes, but her passive nature connects the Victorian femininity and domestication. Aurora is in Sleeping Beauty is characterized as kind, elegant, and obedient. She is also sheltered, carefree, and hopeless romantic. She is pictured more as a concept that embodies an ideal woman according to the existing norms. The changes of female image started with Ariel. Ariel in the Little Mermaid was created in 1989. She is a princess of the second wave of feminism. Ariel becomes one of the first princesses in whom the spirit of the rebellion was presented. However, when the handsome prince appears, he still turns out to be the main goal of the Little Mermaid, as well as the idea of and they live happily ever after. In 90s, 99, in 1990s, Disney produced four different films with female characters portraying different qualities, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Pocahontas, and Mulan. These four movies are connected to the third wave of feminism. Women started to enjoy more rights and power going into the 1990s, which slowly led to the third wave. They were able to think more about their identity, individuality, and also became more conscious of race and color. Disney still retains to image of a beautiful and fragile girl in the new princesses, making them slim, graceful, and pretty. However, here we see the representation of various nationalities, the deeping uh, into uh, the, their inner world of the female characters and the expansion of their freedom. So just me, Mulan and Pocahontas show the difference between women, nationality and race. And in Beauty and the Beast, Belle reveals herself to us as a very intelligent person who has, who has an opinion. Mulan in turn completely destroys the patriarchy tradition where only men can defend their homeland. And then she becomes a real hero of the whole of China. However, the role of men in the fate of these girls is still high. The tradition is still preserved and they live happily ever after. The next princess that is, we analyzed is Tiana. She is the princess that was created in the beginning of 21st century. Tiana in The Princess and the Frog is the first princess who has a paid job and the dream to open her own business. She does not lose her head as soon as she sees Naveen, but falls in love only after getting to know him as well. And he himself is quite a living person, spoiled, irreasonable, irresponsible, but charismatic. He does not take Tiana to the royal palace, but remains to work in her restaurant. The Disney characters like Marie de Rapunzel and Moana are all created during fourth wave of feminism. The fourth wave of feminism focuses more on the empowering woman. She it seeks greater gender equality and proposes to put an end to gender privileges that have historically been established to a man. All four princesses are excellent examples of strong and independent women for whom personal happiness, self-realization, and self-research are important. And 
and not marriage and a man. We cannot say that Disney has completely moved away from the idea of male saver and helper. At the same time, Disney is also gradually moving away from the traditional appearance of the princess, added more uh, realism to their images. Most of the Disney movies, especially the early ones, promote harmful implication of women. Uh, position in the world. In contrast uh, to these narratives, Raya and the Last Dragon, the encounter shows uh, a shift towards conveying a more empowering and feminist tale. New cartoons of the 20s of the 21st century shows a completely new image of woman, where she is the mistress of her life, the main character and the savior of her family of People. The story is devoted to them completely, and men now play only secondary roles, not being the main point of their happy life. The world is really changing, and the updated animation movie plots are a clear proof of that. Today, parents no longer want to show their children fairy tales where princesses always must, must wait for something. They want to prove to their children that you need to cling to your happiness in your own hands. And if you really build love, then on an equal footing without trying to save each other from the clutches of a sinister dragon or a screenwriter. Thank you very much for your attention.